this was not a nice experience. So, this is where your, where your um, injector would sit. And um, on the end of the injector, you would see there is that little, that thing there. So what happened, I removed the injectors, put in a new fuel rail, uh, well, put in new um, injector seals and O-rings, put the injectors back, cranked the car, and then um, I saw the fuel was spewing past the injector. So the, this thing wasn't seated very nicely. And um, <clears throat> after that, when I removed the, the injector rail and um, I saw one of these caps were missing. This one was missing. And um, as you can see, it uh, did a few cycles, but luckily not with the engine um, fired uh, or I'd say the engine running. I just cranked the engine and then I heard it was pff, 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 making weird noises. And, um, and of course the, the fuel rail spewing out fuel everywhere. So I definitely knew there was an issue. So went to the China shop and um, bought myself a little Boris cape. And if you let's see if we can get her in there. Okay, she's in a bit more, a bit more. A little twisting and turning, twisting and turning. Twisting. There we go, she's in. Now, as you can see. By turning it around and round and round and round and round and round, you could see what's going on inside of the Zalinda. And um, after about four hours of mucking about, um, this was my, my solution. So what I did was, first I took a piece of pipe um, linked it there from the uh, um, the Vuva, what you call it, uh, and anyway, from the Vuva, and um, put a piece of pipe there, did this, this one connects there, Come on. so this one connects there, this one is big enough to, so I turned the engine with a with the 30 mil, I think you can see it right there with 30 mil and a ratchet. Um, use the boroscope from up top there with spark plug hole and then put my sucking machine in there. And um, yeah, like I said, struggled for five hours. Uh, as you can see, it's difficult to work with one hand and the camera. So there it's going in, pushing it down. As you can see, they are interfering with each other. But still, what I did was remove this a little bit, push that down as much as I can, and then I was just, well, I just started sucking, 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 and um, every single time it came up, right up into the up until the valve, and um, so I saw, okay, well, it didn't come past there. So what came with my little um, endoscope was these these fittings. So you could fit this. Um, it's like a little magnet and um, a little uh, camera or a, a back view. Sorry for the non-focus button anyway. Uh, so you put that on a piece of wire. Where's that wire now? Yeah, use some masking tape. And um, yeah, that works. I, 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 could, I managed to pull it out from there, uh, remove the endoscope to suck from there so it could just get on top of the valves and then um, remove this fitting and um, use the big the big pipe to suck it out and luckily it came out and um, yeah my dad was not impressed with me when it happened but i believe um, he'll be quite happy so now we have to see if nothing got hurt in the process because um, there was a bit of wires inside the cylinder, a bit of plastic. Uh, well, there was a piece of plastic. It did a few cycles and um, luckily got a new injector tip. Uh, yeah, injector cap, injector tip.
So this is the old one. And this is a new one I got from the Bosch Oak. So this thing didn't seat that well. I think I had too many shims in. I had too many shims in there and it couldn't and it didn't seat. Now it can't come off. Oh, it's not coming off. So old one. Perfect good condition. Removed it for no blumming reason. And um new one. <laughs> Which definitely not more and well there's the, the the new newest one to the production. So yeah, in cover up all your your holes and all those nice things. Um, there's all the other uh, injectors still there. So that cap you can see there came off. Um, it doesn't see properly, came off, enjoyed a few days in the engine. And um, yeah, lucky removed it with a lot of hassle. So yeah, I um, hope this never, ever, 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 ever happens to you. But like they say, it should happen. So um, now there is a, a way to do it. Definitely not the easiest way to do it, but luckily the, you will be able to remove it by using this technique. I managed to get it out. Um, I got very frustrated, uh, well, not frustrated, I just, it's painful standing there um, in this over, bent over position for hours at a time. Yeah, I stood about half an hour, walked around, thought about what can I else, what can I do uh, differently, and luckily got it out. So yeah, enjoy E34. M5, S38, B36, B38 engine owners. Hope this never happens to you. So what I'll be doing here is, uh, as you can see, there's mating surfaces. So I'll be putting a bit of copper grease, um, copper grease here, just to make sure that it seats properly there. I'll be cleaning it now with some air. And um, yeah, like I said, hopefully this never happens to you. Enjoy your day. Thanks for watching and um, yeah. Cheers. These spark plugs are still out. Have to make sure there's nothing in the way. 100% sure. <coughs> I think I need the 
go. Nothing weird. Yeah. Give her a swing. Smell feel? Oh, I definitely smell feel. Feel right, it looks alright. Okay, we just start recording. <laughs> no issue, no issue, no issue, no issue. And look where I'm at. So this would be the first start after a vacuum revival. Um, change the fuel, uh, the injector O-rings and um, plastic injector cap fell in cylinder five, remove the zone, so let's see.